Good evening. It is Tuesday and it's time for The Power of Re with me, Coach Deloria Michelle. Re Tuesday, everybody. I hope everybody's Tuesday has been productive and blessed and full of unexpected miracles, signs and wonders. And again, welcome to the power of re with me, your coach, Deloria Michelle. And I bet you're saying, what is she doing with that candle? She's blowing it out and then she's, Wendy, you got it. She's reigniting, blowing it out out for a little while. It's not burning. It's just dull. And then I'm going to reignite the flame. Mm -hmm. So tonight's reword is reignite. And while they're logging on, while our re-warriors are logging on, I want to invite all of you to visit the website at www.deloriamichelle.com. If you haven't scheduled your appointment, your life coaching session, I admonish you to do so. If you have, thank you so much for entrusting me to be your life coach. Our sessions are very productive, very spiritual because we know that God is first in everything that we do. Again, www.deloriamichelle.com. So tonight, Rewarriors, our reword for this Tuesday with me, um, your coach, is reignite. Have you ever felt like you were on fire? We could use our relationship with Christ as one of our examples tonight. Have you ever felt like you were on fire for God and then all of a sudden your fire went out? Mm -hmm. Have you ever felt like in your relationship that they were hot and they were on fire and then all of a sudden the fire, it went out? What do we do in situations where our fire has gone out? Some of us need to be reignited. Some of us need the power of God. And I'm going to just use our relationship with God, our faith walk. It needs to be reignited because somewhere along the line, something that we had to endure, someone who we entrusted ourselves with some situation that did not go our way it caused obviously flame to go out so now we're at a place where we need to be reignited and sometimes as you can see it's not easy to get our flame to reignite so what do we do in situations like this? We go to God. We pray. We fast. We seek his face continually. We praise him even in the hardest of hard times. There's a scripture in Romans, Romans 12, verse 11. I'm going to read verse 11 and 12. It says, never, key word, never let the fire in your heart, go out, keep it alive, serve the Lord. When you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient. And when you pray, be faithful. Again, 
Never let the fire in your heart go out. You got to keep it alive. And then it tells us to serve the Lord. When you hope, you have to be joyful. When you suffer, you have to be patient. And when you pray, you have to be faithful. So when your flame goes out, get in the face of God. When you go to God in prayer, you got to be faithful. When you're hoping, you got to be joyful. The Bible teaches us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. So he's going to give us strength even when we're going through. Abraham in Romans, I think it is, it tells us that Abraham hoped against hope. And God counted it unto him as right unto righteousness. So when you're hoping for something and it seems impossible, just know that God can and God will, and that there is nothing that is too impossible for God. And eventually, when you get back in a position, when you get in a posture, and when you get stay in God's face, that flame is going to reignite. And the fire that you once had for God is going to come back. And it's going to shine bright. So I admonish you tonight. If your flame has gone out, serve the Lord. Be hopeful when you pray and watch God reignite the fire that you once had. That's your re-moment for this Tuesday night with me, your coach, Deloria Michelle. I pray that you all have been blessed. I tell you, my fire is lit. It is lit. And God will ignite a fire in you. And when he does ignite that fire, you don't allow nobody, nothing and no one to put your fire out, to, to dim your flame, to put your flame out. But you keep that flame lit by serving God, by praying to God, by fasting, by praying, and by connecting yourselves with the right people that can pour into you and keep this flame lit. And that way you won't ever have to worry about your flame going out. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to this Tuesday for the power of re with me, Coach Deloria Michelle. Go to my website, www.deloriamichelle.com. Sign up for a consultation. Sign up for your coaching session. Um, respond to the blogs. Sign up for our newsletter. There are more things coming with the power of re. We're just getting started and our flame is not going to go out. God bless you. I love you all. See you later, Re-Warriors.